It is rare that an actor can be so versatile that they can be a success in the theater, on the big screen, on TV, and in concert. But Ben Vereen has been transcending the entertainment world for over 25 years. On Broadway, you may have seen him in Wicked, Bossy, I'm Not Rappaport, Hair, Jesus Christ Superstar, or his Tony Award-winning performance in Pippin. On television, who could ever forget his Chicken George character in Roots or his role as Louis Armstrong in Louis Armstrong's Chicago Style? And in film, Ben's appearances include Sweet Charity, All That Jazz, and Funny Lady. Now, I could go on and on, but Ben Vereen is here with me today in the studio. Yeah, we only got four minutes, man. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, listening, I'm listening to all this. You know, I look at, wow, tw you know, it's been more than 25 years. I exactly. You know, because the Roots has been 30 years, and I remember many years before that. So it's been quite a long time, and it's been a wonderful time, as a matter of fact. Uh, but, but we have you here today for a very special thing. Very special. I mean, you're, you're now taking on a new role as an educator uh, for diabetes. To I'm, I'm taking the stage. Moment for diabetes awareness mm -hmm. for everybody. You know, I'm, in 07, I was diagnosed with, with you know, having this opportunity. Uh, I call it an opportunity because when I first was made aware of it, you know, for, uh, you, first of all, you, you go through the fear factor. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, so it says, you know, you got, you, you have this, this thing and you go, no, no, you're not talking to me, you're talking to the guy next door. It can't, can't be me, this guy in the next bed. But it was me. And when you look at the, the stats but in, in my life, you know, I'm an entertainer, I sing, I dance, I'm athletic. You know, I have been active all my life. And all of a sudden, now here I am faced with this, this, uh, this uh, seeming uh, this seeming disaster. Mm -hmm. I say seeming because the fact if you don't, if you're not aware, it can be disastrous. When you become aware, it becomes a healing step. Mm -hmm. Now, there are so many people out there that are being diagnosed with mm -hmm. diabetes. Yes. I mean, literally let's, let's get the stats. millions. Let's get the stats. 24 million, okay. all right? Mm -hmm. Six million don't even know they have it. Mm -hmm. Now, 11% of that number is made up in the African-American community. Mm -hmm. not, not, not that we got a corner on this thing, no. It, it, it doesn't matter race, religion, it doesn't matter. It just, it is in our system. And you know, another astounding figure, though, Ben, is that 40% of those who have diabetes don't know how to control it. It is not a death sentence. It is a life sentence. We've got to change the dialogue. We've got to stop telling people you're suffering with diabetes. No, I'm living with diabetes. You've got to stop telling me i got a challenge. No, I've got an opportunity to improve my life. This was the universe's wake-up call. This is saying, I've given you a wonderful gift called life and a body in order to live and dwell therein. Take care of it. You know something you had said earlier, but, uh, and, and, and we, we talked about this earlier today mm -hmm. in the green room, yeah. how athletic you are. I mean, yes. people perceive you as an entertainer, mm -hmm. but the type of entertainment that you do requires that you be in phenomenal condition. Oh, yeah, now, yeah. Now, there has yeah. been this misconception, <laughs> I guess, for years that people who are in shape yeah. don't have a problem with something like diabetes. Yeah, well, that's look at true, me. I'm sitting here talking to you about it, aren't I? Mm -hmm. You know? So if it can happen to me, it can happen to you. You know, and it could happen to your, your loved one. But the wonderful thing is that we are becoming aware. We're taking the stage. We're letting people know that how, what you can do, what to do, how to do it. Talk to your physician. Get a program that is right for you. Now, what's right for me is not going to be right for you, you know. And besides, I don't want you on my program. This is my program. Get your own program. And, and your doctor will tell you what you have to do, your medications, the exercise program, you know, the proper foods to eat. You know, they'll let you know what to do. And then now, now it's up to you to do it. Okay, Ben, you know, it's been great having you, and you've shared a lot of great information. Now Thank I you. want you to, I want to see if you can show me a dance step. <laughs> you know? They you, tell can, me about you. Okay, come on, 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 come for diabetes, you're gonna slay for diabetes. Make a stand, 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 stand. Oh, stand, stand, stand. Oh, stand, stand, okay. stand, stand. Oh, stand, stand, stand. Oh, stand and Man, slide. Thanks so much. Really thanks so much. Do the slide. Do the slide. And there message. you go. And your message, bro. Appreciate <laughs> it. Thank you. Okay. God bless you. Ah, great job.
Bob, you were great. You're a Thank good you. dancer. Thank you, Cynthia. I still have a few moves you left. You sure do. And isn't Ben Vereen just a great entertainer? He's fantastic. And on top of all of that, he's now using his talent to help get people to take better care of themselves. That's right. And whether it's a superstar like Ben Vereen talking about staying healthy, volunteering to provide medical care, or just a simple life-saving checklist. When it comes to your health, there's no time like the present to search for new options. And of course, there's always time for my generation. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time. Bye.